Confidence, um, not everybody always has it or they don't express it. Some people maybe do it on the flip side where it's they're over confident and they let you know. Tell us about the balance, finding that perfect balance when it comes to confidence and the expression of it. Yeah, I think that too is very messy. In fact, in, in pursuit of that, I was asked early on to work with female executives. And often I would hear, you help them develop presence. Well, in your environment, what does presence mean? And nobody could articulate that. So I'm like, okay, I don't know what you think I'm gonna do for this person. I remember a large Fortune 500 company I walked in, VP of whatever her department was, and I, I looked at her and we chatted for three minutes and I'm like, I'm looking at Sister Mary Ellen. Very meek, mm. very mild, very soft-spoken, zero confidence. Right. And yet she's in this hard-driving, research-based, you know, go get them kind of environment. And I thought, you know what? There's no amount of confidence that's going to equip this woman to, to participate in truly what was a toxic environment. So I went back to my sponsor and I said, I, I think this is mission impossible. And they, of course, they were very disappointed and dismissed me from the particular role and brought in somebody else who didn't succeed but was hard driving. Yeah, hard driving, yeah. There's a time for that. And there's a time when you know people just need kind of the, the push to go do things. More times than not, that's really not at the get-go. Now, I also walked into a guy's office one day and he said, you know how I'm going to know you're any good? And I'm like, nope, don't know. He said, if you can fix me. Mm. And I, and I, you know, mm. sailing pictures on his wall and all yeah. this kind of paraphernalia. And I just chuckled and I said, no, sir, that's backwards. Right. I said, I'm here to help you do your work. Right. Nope, it's not what he wanted. So, see it. so how many times do you get excused yeah. right before you actually do work? The competence piece is learning different ways to address the situation. We talked earlier about tone of voice, using your voice differently. If you are someone who comes in and says, here's what we're going to do, and that's not well received, maybe, maybe go in and ask a question. Maybe go in and say, you know, I've been thinking about this, and this, 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 what do you guys think? Wow, I could never do that. Right. I remember one woman in particular I was working with, she said, oh, I could never do that. Not in this environment. I said, why not? She said, I would look indecisive. So in the environment, again, context is everything. You and I talked yeah. about this in our radio uh, interview. We do context is everything. If this is a situation where you come in with an answer and people salute and then go and don't do, what have you accomplished? What's the point of that? Yeah. Yeah. And so, but, but the whole notion of context and environment is something that apparently we don't talk enough about because people believe that once I get this skill, right, that five ways to do this, the three keys to, once I get those, I can go anywhere and do those things. Well, not if you're not reading the environment. Mm. And so that's a competence piece right. that really it's kind of mysteriously, people begin to read a room and see who's here and listen to the conversation. They begin to adapt, mm -hmm. which takes confidence up, right? which then prepares them to take greater risk. So that's really what this They're is all about. They're all so interwoven and linked, yes, exactly. Absolutely. But when it comes to the risk taking, how do you work with people on that? If they are you know, overachievers and they want to take total risk yeah. constantly, uh, matter of fact, they live off the high of the risk, and then those who are like, oh, I need to think about this first. It goes back to context. What is it that you want to accomplish in this exchange, in this meeting, in this environment? And most people simply don't think about that. You know, I'm built this way and I'm gonna go, but when I go and I run and I charge, I notice people dropping off or people disconnecting in, in How to Grow a Backbone. I wrote a chapter on eyes, you know, how eyes, people use their eyes to connect, to signal attachment, to leave a conversation. Once people begin to watch those kinds of things, again, they, they develop the skill, the competence to appreciate that you're dealing with others, right? You are not a Lone Ranger, even though in your own mind you think you, you are think and you the are. best ever. Right. Um, and so that, but again, that takes time. You know, people want to give this two weeks or two months and say, I'm good. I'm yeah. good to go. Yeah. Well, it's a learning and growing process. And so it does take time. And that frustrates a lot of people. And a lot of people get very mad at me. It's okay. They want everything done now yeah. and they want instant results immediately. Exactly. Yeah. And it's sad because they're so short changing themselves, right? You can get an, an outcome today 
that two weeks from now or six months from now, you may look back and go, geez, why did I do that? Right. Yeah, I rushed that, I forced that, should have taken some time, should have allowed it to breathe. Right. Conversely, the people, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, um, are, are sometimes just put together that way. So we do baby steps incrementally. What could you say differently? How could you maybe ask a different question? How could you use your voice differently? There was a woman I was coaching who was very, very timid. She was very smart, wicked smart, but very timid, and she spoke like this. I said, Diane, talk louder. And so she did, she tried a couple of things. I'm like, right there. And she goes, I feel like I'm shouting. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay, shout. Because you sound confident. You know what you're talking about. So it's, it, every person's different. 